Good morning and welcome to the Holby Homestead. Today is a lovely Friday, uh, but we're supposed to get rain all weekend. So really not looking forward to that. Um, not much is really, not anything big change around here, but um, we did get the fire pit um, area, what we're, what we're calling the new fire pit area kind of done um and i will show you that here in a minute and we also um have a collar um i don't like it's a shock collar i don't like calling them the shock collar because it does other things but we have a collar for bailey so it'll beep it'll vibrate and it'll shock we've never needed to use the shock um, because he gets it on the vibration and the beep. So, um, that saves him being on a leash or like a lead for now until we get some fencing up. So, um, I don't know. It works. Like, um, he's pretty good right now. Like, I don't want to use it, like, for no reason. Um, but, uh, he, he'll come to me if I ask him to. He'll follow me around. He will stay on the property. Um, there was one time he was, <laughs> he ran out to the uh, road and he um, started running down the road, which is what he loves to do. And uh, I pushed um, the vibration and he immediately turned around and came back. So it works for now. I don't want it to be a forever thing. I just want it to be like until he matures and grows up and we have fencing. Um, but I highly recommend if you're struggling training like your livestock guardian dog. I'm pretty sure there's a black fly that is buzzing my face. Um, is this the start of black fly season? Who knows? A little bit early, but we did have that heat. That definitely felt like a black fly. Anyways. I'll take you down to show you the greenhouse to see uh, uh, what the progress is there and then I'll show you guys the fire pit and uh, we'll go from there. Dave and the neighbor have been working on taking down this tree. Um, I have nothing against the tree. I do like the tree. Uh, but its roots um, are um, like this is our septic bed here so it's a little close and it's on a good lean towards the septic bed and towards the house so if it was ever to come down um, it would really damage the septic bed and possibly the house and uh, I can't afford big problems like that right now so um, I try and take it down Dave had a slight accident yesterday and he was up on the ladder and a branch came down. Thankfully, didn't knock him off the ladder, but um, it actually uh, gave him a big gash in his, um, in his belly. So uh, things are kind of on hold for now, but it's kind of sketchy taking down a tree like this, but um, leaving it is almost worse because the next windstorm we get or if we get another tornado this thing is going to damage everything so that's what's going on with the tree situation and here's bailey bailey come here so you see he's not wanting to listen to me right now he's gone behind the garden so just quickly this is the beep this is a vibration and that's the shock bailey come here I wouldn't count that because he's playing. So I'm going to beep. Oh, good boy. Come here. Come here, Bailey. I'm going to beep again. Nova. Good boy. Good boy. Uh. That took two beeps, but I feel like that, that wasn't totally his fault because Nova wouldn't leave him alone. So I can't really blame him for that. Usually 
Usually it's one beep, right? Just one beep and you get it because you're a smart dog. Okay. You can go play. You can go play. So I'm standing straight. You can just see the lean that this tree has. It's pretty uh, precarious. I feel like it wasn't leaning like that when we first moved here. I think maybe the last windstorm might have done something, but I don't know. Maybe I just never noticed it leaning before. But behind it is a very lovely lilac bush that's uh, been there for a while um, that has never bloomed because of the shade from this tree. So I am hoping that when this tree goes, that this bush will actually uh, put on a show. Maybe not this year, but next year. There is a game with a soccer ball. Bailey, come back here. Come on. Bailey. So, Bailey is seven, almost seven months old now. Geez, I'm going to have to look at a calendar. I think he's seven months. He is the size of Nova, but he is going to get much bigger. And he has calmed down quite a bit. He is actually a really good, a really good dog and a really good puppy. Anyways, on to the greenhouse. Um, this is like a strip of fencing that Dave brought home. And uh, we just laid it there for now as sort of a deck, but I need to get him... Jeez, that black flies back. We need, I need to get him to till underneath and level it so that it's kind of more of a deck. But anyways, it's a wannabe deck right now. So we have a lot of sun today and it's going to be like this all day so I'm going to open the door I use this pitchfork to kind of stop the door from banging because it likes to bang um, back and forth in the frame and I'm going to open that window and that window and I'm going to come back here And open that window and this window so just to give you kind of a update so these are how Bailey <laughs> these are how the cosmos are doing and I have some more cosmos there um, this is the lemon queen sunflower so i have some sprouts this is the mammoth sunflower so i have some that are just starting to peak up this is mammoth that's mammoth i have some loofah there uh, this is more mammoth um i only see two one here one here of the loofah that's coming up and different types of cucumbers i see i have some cucumbers coming up so that's good and uh this is more cucumbers here i have zucchini i guess one it's a bit slow this year it's hot peppers yellow peppers not really anything yet but peppers take forever um this is pumpkins um, and there's one, um, I know it's hot in here, but you don't have to be in here. Did you know that? You can be outside where it's cooler. 
How hard is it? Like almost 25? Yeah, pretty hot. There you go. Um, plant a watermelon here. There's no sign of it yet. There's a Kentucky Wonder Bean. More beans. My zinnias have come up. Uh, which is good. I love growing zinnias. I forgot to do it last year and I really kicked my butt over that one. Uh, there's some tomatoes here that haven't come up yet. Um, squash, but nothing visible. This is all stuff I planted quite recently, so there's like literally nothing. So there's lettuce here that's supposed to be coming up. And lettuce there. I got peas here, um, nasturtiums, I have lemon queen sunflowers over there, and more lettuce here. So, that is what's going on in the greenhouse so far. Um, I do have this rose that I've been nursing all um, winter, and uh, it didn't really like where it was, so I just brought it out here to try and bring it back, but I do have some new growth, so um, I don't want to cut it back too much and shock it, so I'm just kind of letting it grow a little bit more before I trim kind of this dead stuff off, but it seems to be doing all right in here, but that's the greenhouse. Right, Bailey? It's too hot. Too hot for a livestock guardian dog. Right? Go on, Bailey. Bailey. Let's go show them the fire pit area. You've been very helpful with that. So if you haven't seen our other video, we put the straw down because mud is really bad here in the spring and uh, it's really helped. It's really dried up the ground. We just got to break it up. But here is the fire pit area. So we carried these stones. Nova, come here. We carried these stones over from behind the barn because we piled them there when we were clearing out stuff. So I made a path. I'm going to grass this area. Um, this was like all rough brush before. Like um, before that tree came down, we never like went in here because it, it was just like a forest. And then when that tree came down, it kind of ruined everything. But... It's kind of a blessing in a way because it kind of gave us a whole new space. So we have more rocks along here. This area is definitely not finished, but um, I stacked about three quarters of this myself. So there's one, two, three, four, five and a half rows. That was a lot of work. Um, there's like a little pile there. <laughs> And then this is some other stuff that didn't really make the pile, but it's still burnable. And then that's from that tree too. But I'm going to put a fire pit here and put our chairs around it. And it'll be kind of a nice uh, area. And uh, Bailey is going too far. So I'm going to demonstrate this collar. So beep. Bailey! Good boy! Bailey! 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 Good boy! So I'm gonna put a fire pit there, make it out of stone. Like, not stone, not fancy stone, but like armor stone. Um, and then put a circle of gravel around it so that it's fire safe. 
and uh, but we have enough uh, firewood for the rest of our uh, lives. We don't actually burn wood inside the house, so um, this is strictly bonfire wood and maple syrup wood. And that black fly has been following me around since I came out here. Anyways, there's some pretty rocks. It's kind of a work in progress, but it uh, it's taken a long time to even get to this point, but um, it'll be worth it in the end because it'll actually be a pretty cool hangout spot. And uh, it's pretty nice that our neighbor Gord has been helping us too. Um, he's the one that cut up that entire tree and he split all this. All I did was was stack it. I'm not, not taking any, any credit for the amount of work that went into that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like I said, I'm going to grass this area. Might gravel it. I don't know. It depends on the cost of things. Like everything is so expensive now. Bailey. Anyways, guys, that's my video. It's short and sweet. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get a video out this weekend because of the rain, but um, we'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.